Here we go. There we go. Always a little bit of technical difficulties. Hey, what's going on everybody out there? It is Friday. Hi to everybody out there on my Twitch channel. Hi to everyone out there on YouTube right now. Trying out something new today. I am streaming through my company, uh, Chubby Beagle Productions. Uh, trying out my first time live streaming on YouTube. So give it a shot. Uh, see, hopefully some people show up. If not, we'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah, having lots of fun, and let's see how it goes. So, today, I thought I'd have some fun, and I'll do a little bit of uh, caricature practice, and some fate, and some drawn, some people sketching, and yeah, treat it like just a fun warm-up, and loosen up, and just, uh, just a good time from a, from a busy week. It's been a very busy week, very, very, very busy, hectic week, and so I think settling down and uh having some fun with some some people sketching sounds like a great great idea uh yeah lots of lots of fun stuff i could talk about so but first off let me uh let me get started on a good form warm-up drawing here so uh if you look up on the top corner uh i have my reference that i'm drawing from uh this is a earth this is a website called earth's world and uh it's basically the people watching the website and uh earth goes along and takes uh some amazing photo uh photographs of people at different various events he goes to and they're a wonderful collection of just faces to draw and uh i've been using his site for years uh just as good warm-up and good just practice and just good warm uh just good way to get into drawing and feeling loosening up and so i'm just gonna do that today so Let's see here. Let's start. Uh, let's go with this the, uh, with this collection of photos, and let's uh, let's see let's see what I find. Let's see what I see who looks interesting and fun to draw today. Let's see here. Let's get that loaded up. Hopefully my uh, my setup <laughs> doesn't get too much in the way. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is I I don't think I've seen this collection before. This collection looks fun. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna start off, start off with a nice warm up. So normally when I'm drawing, when I'm doing caricatures or heck, just drawing for anything, uh, usually my first drawing of my day is usually my worst as far as like, just like, cause I haven't really got into my groove yet. Haven't gotten into my zone yet. So I wanna start with something that's just a nice, good template to get warmed up with. So I think I'm gonna go with this guy. This guy feels, this guy, Nice solid shapes, lots of fun stuff going on here. Love the expression, love the detail. Let's see your Caretunes on Twitch asks, how are you doing today, Bill? Caretunes, I'm doing great. Like I said, it's been a busy week. Uh, I've been I've been trying to get to doing uh, some freelance work and it just felt like stuff just kept coming up. <coughs> busy stuff just chores and all these other things i had to get along doing i'm, I'm glad i did them but uh it just got in the way of stuff that i really wanted to do which was uh some animation and freelance still was able to do my streams which is always fun so let's see here so i'm looking at this guy and yeah let's just get warmed up let's just get some fun shapes in here get some good some good shapes here get myself all warmed up uh, drawing is just like a, it's just like a sport or any other physical activity you gotta do. You want to get yourself loosened up and just get going. So there we go. 
Make a new layer. All right, so looking at this guy, and I'm I'm noticing like his head, and then I'm seeing this this the shapes of his neck, and then his chin, and just going in and playing around with some of the shapes I'm seeing. Yeah, one of the things uh, I'm getting definitely getting used to. So those who don't know, uh, I'm a professional uh, artist and animator. And the last job I was working on full time was I was a storyboard artist on the Fox show, The Great North. And right now, my job is 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 suspended or basically in a in a undefined hiatus due to the strikes. And the fact that uh, the studios aren't coming to negotiate, and so it's a uh, it's a stressful time right now. And you know, during stressful times, uh, a lot can happen. A lot of a lot of stuff you got to adjust to. A lot of changes, and this is part of how I'm kind of dealing with this with this change and and. Uh, and hard times that were going on right now because it was a good paying job i loved that job i had the best time in the world i worked for so many amazing people uh i was working on a project that i loved and enjoyed being part of and it's very stressful when you're working on something like that to have it go away um and i know a lot of people out there it's just that time right now uh, I'm not the only one in this boat. Uh, I know a lot of artists, friends, a lot of other professionals that are in the same boat. And it's stressful right now. And it's tough because you don't know what's going to come. You don't know what's happening. You don't know the details. I mean, technically, us artists and animators, we don't even have a leg in the fight. But we're affected by it. Now, I fully support the strikes. I think that uh, creative people need to get paid what's owed to them and what's paid paid their due especially when they're helping and in, in creating pieces that are making billions and entertaining millions and billions of people it only seems fair but I don't have a leg in this fight I am I'm a storyboard artist I, the show I worked on got cancelled or not cancelled but that's 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 me using the wrong words. It put on hiatus, and my job got got effectively canceled. So, here I am. I'm back to streaming on 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 online. And I did this five years ago. Cause five years ago I was also unemployed. I was working in games at the time. I was an animator, an artist, and mobile games, online games, social games, stuff like that. And I got laid off back then too. In that case, the, the layoff was due to the company I worked for being sold and all our jobs were being shipped overseas. And that was, that was, that was tough because that was, again, that was another really fun job. I really enjoyed working at that company. And it was a company where I thought, I think this job's going to have some legs because it was, it was I wasn't working for like some random startup. I was working for a company under a big casino brand. And it seemed like, hey, we were doing really well. And I think they could have some stability for a while. And rug got pulled out for me then too. And that happens. It's not fun. It's not cool. Um so I have to learn to move on. I have to learn to adjust again. <laughs> All right, I'm liking how this guy looks. I think I, I think I pinched his head a little bit. Like, like, the gist is there, but I think I pinched in areas that I didn't. So I'm gonna try one more, and I think I'm gonna keep it more just a solid shape here. Like he's there's not a lot of variation in this guy's head <laughs> and i think like like it's very it's a very nice solid shape and i think i i think i was i was going for too much variation but that's all right like i said my first sketch probably not my strongest 
But as I go and as I keep working, I'll get this all figured out and I'll get into a groove. A lot, there's, there's so many things that you got to work on uh, when you're doing drawings like this. It's not just how I'm drawing or I know what to draw. It's, it's training my eye to see things. It's training my brain to account for those things and to slow down a little bit too. Sometimes, you know, it's good to draw fast, especially uh, when you're doing these live. Um, I used to work uh, doing caricatures at theme parks and I do these live for people and you definitely want to do them quick when you're doing them live. Like here, I'm taking time. I get to talk with you guys and I get to undo and erase things. But when you're live, you just have to go with it. And it's a fun experience. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a really fun experience. And there is so much that you get out of uh, going through an experience like that. Because you find really uh, your confidence. You can find a lot of uh, what you're made of and everything. But, yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot to think about. A lot to work on. And so you kind of just got to feel it out. Because if I sat down, I think if I think if I sat down and addressed all the stuff I need to think about, <laughs> I think I might not actually draw anything. Yeah, this guy's nose is giving me trouble. I think it's more like... Yeah, there we go. And then... There we go. Oh, was I, were I seeing chats over on YouTube? No, I wasn't. I have the chat open here for YouTube. I am not seeing anything. Uh-oh. I hope, uh, I hope I'm not getting, uh, chats and people are, I'm, I hope I'm not missing them. <laughs> Again, uh, and I totally apologize if, uh, if you're over there right now yelling at me on YouTube and I'm not seeing your chats. I am so sorry. Again, first time trying this out. Um, there's probably a lot of kinks I got to work out here and what's going on. I should be seeing chat. Um, let me see here. I have it set for live chat. Yes, I do. And it's only showing, it's not showing any participates in the chat. So that is strange. Just, uh, Let's see what's going on here. Well, that's reloading. Go back to drawing this guy. Yeah, you can see you can see a difference here. Like drawn from the same face, completely different takes on it. I think again, I think I was focusing on I was because I was giving it a different focus. Like this one I was focusing on his overall shape. This one I was focusing on individual pieces and kind of taking them from there. There's no wrong way to go about when you're drawing people's faces like this. You kinda gotta pick your path and go with it and just be confident in the path you're going. <laughs> okay, now I'm seeing the chat. Now I'm seeing the chat. I don't know why it didn't update me on the chat. Hopefully, hopefully I'm seeing everything. All right, there we go. All right, so this was a good warm up for right now. I definitely think I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to this 
and I'll come back to it, and then we can check and see how uh, the drawings go from from drawing to drawing. Because this was my warm up. This is my first ones, and I'm liking them, but I'm also I'm also kind of being very very critical of them, and I'm knowing that there's things that I will get better at, and they are going to improve as as I go into as 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 I go into this. So make a new layer. Boom. Uh, software I'm working on in, if anyone wants to know, is I'm working in Sketchbook Pro. Uh, old, older program that I love using. Uh, it's just a nice, easy to go, ready to go drawing program that I can hop on my tab, my uh, my computer on, and it works really well. Does a lot of good. Does a pretty good job. I'm not I'm not sponsored by uh, by Autodesk Sketchbook Pro, but it's a really nice program. I've used it for years and really enjoy it. All right, next one we got here. I think I need to move some things around a little bit because I'm having trouble seeing my my reference screen. There we go. Ooh, I am digging this. I'm digging this woman. This woman is looking great. Let's bring her up. Ooh, yes. Oh, she was the next drawing. All right. There we go. All right, let's see what we can do with her. <laughs> Chat saying, not sponsored by them yet. <laughs> that would be great. I don't know, I don't know. Is Autodesk doing art programs anymore? Like, uh, it seemed like they were doing... The grant I was using Autodesk Sketchbook Pro, like, a lot back, like, five years ago. This is before the pandemic, so I don't even know what they're doing anymore. I just kind of... Was a, I had this still on the computer, so I was able to download it and still use it. So I'm happy to be using it. But yeah, are they even doing anything with art programs anymore? I hope someone knows. I hope someone knows. All right, so 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 with this person, I think I'm going to start, because I, what I usually like to do is I like to draw the overall he sh uh, shape and then kind of build my way and use it as reference from there. So what I'm seeing with her, and here I'll do a nice little kind of breakdown of what I'm seeing with her. So what I'm seeing is that there's a nice kind of, triangle shape here and there, you know and and from there i kind of point pinpoint different kind of spots on, on on the face that are kind of like guide points for me so once i know once i know where her Once I know where like her chin is, I know where the top of her head needs to go. It all fits within this shape. And she's not angry. She's not grimacing. Just kind of working on a nice light sketch. There we go. And then this kind of rises up to where her forehead is. And then we've got... Her hair coming in here and then i know because over here is the bot is where her chin is on the bottom of her chin this is where her ear goes but it's all hidden behind her hair so i'm kind of just gonna and then her hair make finishes up the shape as it comes down like this and this is kind of this is this is what i would do use as like a rough sketch so then let's take this and let's put a new layer on top of it. Now, even though this is my rough sketch, I try I try to stay loose as possible as I can when I'm drawing faces like this. So let's get a new color. Let's go with like a darker red. And I want to still break this down and just keep it nice and loose. See, I'm, 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 I've got the basic shapes, but I'm kind of not even following the sketch underneath I'm, I'm i like it for giving myself reference points too but there's a lot that i'm that i i'm able to change and adjust as i'm the more i'm continuing to to look at the face and draw it
In which case, more I think more and more I'm 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 trying to emphasize these these large cheeks that she has. I think they make up a big portion of her face, and they really capture her personality really well. And again, I don't I don't know all too much about her personality because I'm only capturing what's on the photograph, so I can only kind of use my imagination about what's happening here. But that's kind of the fun part about doing these sort of these sort of sketches off of people with photographs. The best reference is always a live person. Always off of a live person. But when you're doing it off a photograph like this, it's also a fun exercise in using your imagination on to like, okay, who is this lady? You know, what's going on here? Like, I'm looking at her eyes and I'm just far enough away where I can't quite make out what's happening with her eyebrows. They look like they're kind of squinting, but they're so light. Like, I think even using these head, like, this kind of line on here is making them heavier than they are. So I think I might even just kind of wispy them in a little bit. There we go. And then we'll do the rest of the hair. There we go. Caratunes in the chat asks, how are you going to draw one of your, are you going to draw one of your subscribers today? Oh, am I going to do a subscriber drawing? I was working on one last Friday. I think with this one, since I'm trying out the YouTube thing, I think I'm just going to focus on doing a uh, face uh, caricature chat today. Or caricature, not caricature chat. Blech. Uh Doing a uh, caricature practice. But I definitely want to get back into doing subscriber drawings. Because that was a lot of fun. But I think for today... Just want to just just trying stuff out and seeing how this format works. Just want to have a nice 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 easy going wind down on a Friday. There we go. All right, I'm liking that. I'm liking how that looks. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to another one. Who else we got? Who else is available? A lot of, I, I've been, I've, because I've been drawing off this website a lot, I've noticed that, like, a lot of the photos tend to be from either the side, or a kind of like, seven eighths, not quite three quarters, seven eighths version of the head. And that's fun, because drawing, drawing a face in profile is, is a hard thing to do, because we don't normally see it. We don't normally see someone perfectly in profile. Normally, we like to see, we like to see people from the front, or from the, or from three quarter view. Uh, so to see someone in profile can be unnerving just because we want to as humans we like seeing our faces We like seeing other people's faces So let's see here. Let's go with Kind of digging Kind of digging him but I feel like I drew him already, but let's see what he looks like All right, yeah, you know, let's go with him this guy's working Let's do this guy. Just, uh, let's see here. Get a good idea for what's happening here. All right. So same thing with this guy. This guy, I'm liking, I'm liking the shapes I'm seeing. I feel like we've got like, there's a, there's a, there's a nice big square and a solid, solid triangle kind of making up his chin. So I'm just going to kind of focus on that. Just kind of go in here. See now I'm, I'm starting to get a little more, a little more, a little more confidence in my line work, a little more confidence in my drawing ability. And the drawing, the, the lines are a little more confident. The, I'm, I'm just kind of going for it. For, with my drawing strokes. And that's going to be the, that's going to be the transformation you'll see over the drawings. It's just all about building that confidence. And sometimes it takes a little bit. Sometimes it takes more than one. It takes, it takes some time to get back to that. 
Um, honestly, sometimes uh, when I'm just drawing or sketching or having fun, I'll kind of go through like my like uh, a f my first drawing I won't light like, and that happens. And uh, sometimes what that'll do is it'll just I'll start feeling really bad. I start feeling like, wait, I should be doing better than this. I'm here. I am a professional artist. And my first drawing was was garbage, or that's what I'm telling myself. It's garbage. And it's like, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Because uh, what it actually what it actually is, is like, I just need to keep drawing. If I just keep drawing, I'll get back there. But sometimes you'll stop yourself. I know at least I do, because that first drawing isn't where you think you should be, or what you think you're capable of and you might stop yourself from continuing to go when if you just keep going and you just keep drawing and you just keep working at it you'll get there no matter what your skill level is at just keep going just keep practicing and you'll figure it out but you gotta keep at it there we go and this guy's got like it's like he's got like a slight shaved head and usually for that, I just put some light lines in here. There we go. Oh, this guy looks great. I like how this guy came out. Lots of fun shapes with him. Alright, let's move, sir. Let's move your face over there. Who's next? Let's see if we can find, because I'm 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 getting I'm feeling my mojo coming on. Let's uh let's see if I can find someone. Let's see if we can do a full like 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 figure caricature, like kind of like get the whole 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 a cartoon of the whole person involved. Let's see here. Care uh, Karen Tunes asking, what's the most memorable experience you've had doing caricatures? Oh my goodness, that feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> Oh my goodness, time doing caricatures. So I had, oh my goodness, they were, a, I was working at Universal Studios and I had, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was me and a couple other artists. I can't remember who exactly I was at the booth with. And we had a, a group of tourists from Germany and they were all gathering around and we were they were having a great old time because we were drawing everyone they had a big old group and we were all like drawing different people from their big group and i had this one guy sit down for me and he had he was like a big guy like i'm a big guy i'm 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 six foot six and like over 300 pounds this was a big guy um to me <laughs> this guy sits down and he had a face i was like oh my gosh i'm so excited i get to draw you um he seemed like he was totally cool with it i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna have so much fun with you and he was like oh good i can't wait to see i've enjoyed seeing everyone else getting drawn and so i drew this guy and he had one of those faces where he had he had a giant head and all his features were like packed like if i were to sketch it like he was i'm not gonna do it out here he's like i'm not i'm only remembering the big details here um, but like he had like like he was his head was like kind of like this shape and all his features were packed up here yeah and then, and then he had this big giant chin here and that's kind of the that's 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 about the gist I remember it and I and I went like I went like over the top on it and I had and and his all everyone that was in his group was behind me just laughing it up like having the greatest old time and he was getting more and more excited and then I show him the drawing and I you could you know you know the moment when someone doesn't like the drawing there you know it <laughs> and he saw his I saw the expression on his face go from like excitement to like dismay and then embarrassment and disgust 
And I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, cause this guy, like, hit, like, the, the complete emotional change that happened to this guy, I felt, I almost felt bad, but at the same time, I didn't know, I was kind of like, I didn't know what to feel, like, like, cause his friends were like, this is awesome, you drew this guy so good, like, they were like, they were laughing, and, and, and I think that's why the guy didn't say much, because I don't think he wanted to, like, say anything bad about his like while his friends were like laughing so much <laughs> but oh it was oh, it, it was just so weird because awkwardly the guy came back and wanted his money back <laughs> he was the only one <laughs> out of the whole group that wanted their money back and like i it was like oh man like <laughs> it's that's a that's 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 a hard thing to do when you when your character is, is like someone comes in like like they they, they like it at first or th it seems like there's no problem and they come back but that was that was <laughs> that, that was that was an experience that was a lesson uh too much star stuff on twitch ass uh did you end up drawing him like he was kingpin from into the spider verse oh man i wish i i wish i had known like the way they designed Kingpin in Into the Spider Verse is such was such a uh, chef's kiss moment. Um, <laughs> I wish I had known like I wish I had like thought of that shape language for doing that. Most I but for me much how I did like I think I did it like this. I think there might have been a little bit more like there might have been some more pinching involved with his face and stuff. Like I might have gone a little bit here to kind of showcase his ears and you know he had he had some big old like brow muscles like i've got them right now a lot of these other guys are drawn like they've got these big brow muscles he had something similar but then he had like these tiny little like he it was such a fun cut like fun what's the word I'm looking for um he was it was such a fun juxtaposition of of features like he was massive a giant brick of a person with tiny little features <laughs> and and one of the things that i always try to, to to remind myself when i'm doing caricatures is i want to stay playful i'm not trying like like i don't like mean caricatures i want caricatures to be fun it should make someone laugh and if and if someone's and if someone's laughing apparently i had his friends laughing but something clicked in this guy and we and, and it didn't make any sense to me because he knew what he was getting into he watched all his friends get torn up and like when it comes to tearing people up at the time i was a lightweight i was like i was still drawing very nice caricatures of people and so i thought i was i thought i didn't do that horrible to him oh well it's 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 you know he was he was he was in his right to come he was in his right to have his opinion and return it we gave him his money back we offered if he could draw another one he said no what are you gonna do what are you gonna do but that that was that one that that one still that one still sticks with me because yeah it, i just never there's sometimes you know like you can pinpoint this guy or this woman or this kid's not gonna i could draw anything i could take a photograph of them slap it on a piece of paper and show it to them and they'd hate it um there's sometimes you you just get that feeling about people um but this guy he went from it was such a change it was such a change from like oh, this guy this guy's fun we're having a great time we're laughing he was telling me about like well yeah i'm from germany and we're here we're we're, we're traveling the states and this is california and we're on our last leg like oh wow that's really cool we were having fun and i like talking to people when i do caricatures because i want to get that experience of their personality and i want their personality to come through the picture not just a drawing and and then it just cool went downhill from there <laughs> oh well what are you gonna do <laughs> Hey, 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 what's going on? Too much good stuff. Or too much star stuff. Too much good stuff. Too much star stuff. Good to see you again. All right, let's see here. Who is... Who's up next? What's another fun face to draw here? Yeah, let's... let's. I want to find a picture of someone, like, that's got more of the... The full character in them. Because I'm, I'm... I'm getting... I'm feeling good drawing the faces. I'm feeling good drawing the faces. But I want to kind of get the whole person in here 
And every once in a while, there's a there this the Earth's world has one. Like this one, this one's got enough. I think I can work on. Let's see here. What do we got from this guy? Yeah, I think I got enough to work with on here. There's a lot of filling in the blank. I feel like I'm doing the Jurassic Park Dino DNA sometimes when I'm when I'm when I'm drawing these things off of reference because. Um, there's a lot of stuff you have to kind of fill in the gaps with. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's something I like doing when I'm doing, uh, like live figure drawing or gesture drawing. And, uh, but yeah, you just kind of have to fill in the blank, fill in the gaps and just kind of like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to guess. And so I put my frog DNA in there <laughs> and I hope, I hope it comes out working out just fine. Most of the time it does. But it's just it's just kind of a fun <laughs> it's a fun reference so all right this guy so let's 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 go with the uh, with this character here really fun looking character i like i like what this kid looks like all right so let's see here make sure i got my, my windows are all over the place All right, so this guy's got a pretty nice, like teenage, like 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 this guy to me exudes teenagery, and a lot of times that's what you got to do. Sometimes is you just got to make a uh, a judgment. Like it kind of, <laughs> I don't mean to sound like you have to be judgmental, but you just have to make a call and and find what speaks to you about a person and go with that. Um, now granted, yes, if I had this, if I had this kid to talk to and I was doing this live, um, in front of him and not on a computer and I just had a piece of paper, I would talk to him. I kind of get a little sense of like who he is. Um, but I don't have that. I just got this photograph. So I'm going to make a judgment. This guy just like screams teenager. He reminds me of the teenager they had on the Simpsons. For, you know, like, <laughs> always, the, always the teenager they had, like working the taco stand or, or working the burger joint like just there's this this image oods teenager to me so i'm going to kind of focus on bringing that out when i'm drawing this so like i've got kind of like working here with the shapes i'm kind of working more also like not just the shapes but also like the flow of everything now like feeling like okay there's there's a big mass here he's got his shoulders And then kind of connecting things. And then he's got this big mop of hair. Kind of comes down. It doesn't have sideburns. Well, don't need to do sideburns. And when I'm doing just light sketches like this, I'm just trying again, I'm going from kind of like, I want to call them, uh, he want to say milestone, not milestones, but basically, uh, major, um, oh, I can't think today. My brain's not working on words today. But just kind of going from major, major, major object major shape major idea to the next one so like here's his hand his arms come down he's got a million things that he's holding on to at once you know so i've got his hand here with all everything kind of tucked up underneath it and i'm not really kind of working on the details at this point i'm just kind of getting the gist of everything here because at this point, I'm just working on a sketch. And a lot of times, this is what I do when I'm like, I'm waiting in the car, or I've got my sketch pad on me, and I'm just sitting around like doing live people sketches. I do this a lot. I'll sit, I'll be uh, like picking up my kids from school, um, or sitting around waiting and bored. I'll kind of bring out my, uh, my notepad or my phone and just sketch people on it that I'm sitting around me. I think it's easier it's easier to do on the phone than 
uh, if you have like a sketchbook or something like that. Um, cause everyone just thinks you're doing something on your phone. <laughs> that becomes kind of like my, uh, my cloaking device for I'm drawing everybody is using the phone because no one, no one questions you sta sitting and jotting something on your phone. But if you have a sketchbook, well, what's this guy doing? <laughs> And then, let's see here. We've got his body down here. I don't have enough page room, so let's shrink this down a little bit. So this is where I got to make stuff up because I do not see what's going on under his legs. So I'm kind of thinking, like, here's his jacket. He's a little bit loose. He's almost got what looks like a puffer kind of jacket, so I'm going to kind of maybe add a little puffer shapes in there i don't know how deep i want to make it it's not that much of a puffer i'm kind of getting like marty mcfly vibes from the first uh back to the future with it and then he seems kind of like an awkward kid so we have his his legs kind of Prods together, and maybe he's taken a little bit of a step. There we go. So now, let us. Can I copy and paste things in this? I can. Haha. -ha. Let's turn down the opacity on this. And let's do, let's, let's draw this out now a little bit. So I like the sketch I have for this guy. And I think I want to just kind of get in and just throw in some, some clear up some of the details that are going on here. Oops. I think I got to use a smaller pen too. And again, I'm going to change things a little uh, up from my sketch a little bit because now I'm looking at closer details. I'm, the first sketch I was looking I was looking for broad shapes. I was looking for generic things. Now as I'm going in and I'm tightening up the drawing, I'm going in and I'm focusing on more specific things. Like I'm looking at the specific way his nose is arched. And I noticed that, like before, I had his mouth kind of going up like this. Now I'm noticing it comes down. Like he's got more of a, like he's he's angling his 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 lip down. Too much star stuff. At is that pen supposed to be like felt tip? It feels like it. Like honestly, like I've like I uh, this is my most favorite uh, favorite. This is my most favorite pen to use on uh in sketch in sketchbook pro we've got all these different ones here like we've got like a like more of a which one's this one this one's more of like a coptic multi-liner we've got a brush pen we've got a more like ink brush pen you've got your like just big um chisel tip marker and then you've got just a pen and honestly this is my most favorite one to draw in i think because i get a nice blend of thick to thin that works well with my my hand pressure um i don't normally care too much for doing like too many specialty brushes i think it's more of just i want like a i want a thin brush i want a thin to thick brush for doing my lines and then i want a chisel or something flat for doing surfaces and then after that i'm kind of set because anything else i can kind of just make with those shapes or those those uh those uh, that that those tools there we go okay, this guy there we go and he, this guy's got big again there's so many things that feel teenagery about this guy you know the large ears the the big mess of hair on top of his head like 
Like, dude, I was you. I had a big mop of hair. <laughs> when I was younger. Like, you can tell that, that things are growing and maturing at different speeds and different ages. And that's that's where the fun of... Again, that's that's where the playfulness comes into in, into play when you're drawing these characters and doing these portraits like this. You gotta be playful. And everyone has something fun. And everyone has something unique about their features. So it's all just about paying attention to that. And bringing that out. Like this, this guy totally reminds me of kind of like... He reminds me of like the old comic strip Zitz with uh, King Arthur from the Disney movie uh, um, Sword in the Stone. Like, I thought they did a great job capturing that gangly in betweenness <laughs> that that King Arthur was. Like, I can't remember. I think he's supposed to be like fourteen or fifteen or something like that. Maybe even maybe even slightly younger. But they did a good job capturing that in that movie. I really like how they animated him. Now I'm going through and doing the hair. I'm like I notice he's got like like curly hair, and I'm just trying again. I'm just trying to get the gist of the shape. Like there's a lot more going on there, and his his hair is a bit more messy than I'm making it. But I'm trying to kind of give myself again landmarks. That's the word I'm looking for. Landmarks to work off of. Like okay, this is where this hair does this. This is the shape of this hair here. Now it comes down here. And I guess if you're looking for like an overall rule that I like to stick with, it's, it's just have a reason for everything. You know, like this is the part of the hair that's going this way. This is the shape of the hair that's moving in this direction. And then I can kind of just connect everything with smaller lines and pieces like that. There we go. And he's got he looks like he's eating something like <laughs> like he just shoved a bunch of he just shoved a bunch of snacks in his mouth oh that he's eating a that's what's in his hand he's eating a corn dog so he does have something in his in his mouth that's always fun too is when you make when you make a call and uh and it comes <laughs> and you're like oh that, that's why hey i was right Just following the the path and shape going on with his shirt he's got a collared shirt so i know that these pieces kind of come together like, like here's one collar here's the other one stuff like this also comes just from experience and drawing multiple things like i've drawn so many collared shirts so i just kind of have a sense of how to draw a collared shirt um Gonna make sure it links up properly around here. But it's like once you see it, it's like, oh okay, that's a collared shirt. Then it, it feels like it's a loose collared shirt. It's a it's a tight collared shirt, that sort of thing. This kid's definitely got a very loose collared shirt. Now there's a little bit more that's being shown in the actual image, but I'm not too worried about getting it completely 100 percent accurate. Again, I'm doing a caricature, I'm getting the gist of it. I'm not looking for 100% photo real accuracy. That in and of itself is its own amazing art skill and takes lots of practice to do, but that's not what I'm about. I want to just capture the essence of this guy, his character. There we go. There's his collar, there's his hoodie. And then we got the other side. Oh, 
over here with the other his shoulder over here. Now I know I put a lot of stuff over here, but that's all right. All right, let's get in his hand with actually. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw things in different layers, so and then I can combine them together. Don't worry, have to worry about like overdrawing things or erasing too much. So let's draw the back of his jacket under his arm, and then we'll draw his arm on top of it. Let's do that. So we've got his kind of puffer sailor's coat right here. And it all kind of comes down here. And then we got the same thing on the other side. There we go. And then we'll have his other arm over here. So I'm just gonna put his shoulder. It's kind of like a placeholder. I like drawing placeholders for things because it helps me know, okay, I know I'm gonna put something here later on, but there's a lot of other stuff happening. So I wanna just kind of keep it, keep the placement there, but not worry about it yet. And then let's get in the rest of him. Maybe we'll put a little Little uh, hole in the knees. Now, here's where I'm getting down to his feet. Now, I didn't put much detail when I drew his feet because, again, I gotta make it up here. So, I'm trying to think what kind of shoes does this guy have? He's definitely wearing jeans. And he's definitely wearing jeans, hence the, uh, the seam here and the hole in the knee. I think he's definitely wearing jeans. But what kind of shoes is he wearing? I'm thinking like, like I'm kind of leaning towards doing like, again, going, how teenager can I get? And kind of going with like big sports sneakers sort of look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Cause I just did it. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking teenagers, like teenagers aren't going to wear like loafers or business shoes or, you know, maybe boots. I can see boots working out here. There we go. And then we'll do the same over here. There we go. Get this shoe in the back here going on. So if you're following or following my Twitch stream, definitely keep an eye out for next week because a lot of fun things happening next week. On Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a test live stream with a bunch of other art artist friends I know. And we're basically going to be playing a bunch of fun art games. On, uh, on Magma, we might be playing some Gardic Phone, we'll play some Jackbox games, that sort of thing. And we're going to do a test call, test stream on that on Tuesday. So, if you're online and on Tuesday, 
Um, that's what's going down. Oh, I'm being told there was an ad break going on on Twitch. Oh no, I'm not timing this right. <laughs> I picked the wrong time to start talking about future stuff. That's all right. We'll wait till that ad break ends. Then we'll go, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it again. Right, so let's get his hand in here. He is delicately, I like how delicately this guy is holding. His, uh, his little corn dog here. All right, so looks like ad ads done on Twitch. So yeah, uh, if you guys are following me on Twitch, definitely pay attention to the channel next week. Doing a lot of fun stuff next week on Tuesday and Friday. So here's the deal: Tuesday morning, doing a test stream uh, and playing a lot of fun artist games with some other Twitch stream friends of mine who are also professional artists and animators. And we'll be playing, uh, we'll be playing some drawing games. We'll be making, uh, doing uh, challenging each other with designs. And the plan is that we're doing a test, uh, test stream, test version of that on Tuesday. And that's gonna be 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And again, we're gonna be doing the main, the main event. The main event will be on Friday. Friday morning at 10 a.m. So definitely tune in next week. I'll be doing my normal. I'll be doing my normal Monday and Wednesday streams. So if you've been enjoying the animation that I'm making, definitely tune into that because I want to keep working on that project and get that going. But I'm looking forward to this. I've been this is this has been in the works for a while. We've been having uh, some meetings and I've been getting people on a Twitch on a a discord channel and uh, we've been making plans so i'm excited for this this should be a lot of fun we're all going to be streaming at the same time on our channels so um it's going to be I'm trying to think of the channels i know uh i know every people by their real names so i'm trying to think what their channel names are there's a uh, river base uh she is going to be joining me and uh carly cartoons is going to be joining me and uh chaos tunes gonna be joining me and andrea is gonna be joining me and uh i'll be posting on my social media and uh i'll share their channel links too um so you can go check them out they're all amazing artists and animators like i've had the, the privilege of working with all of them on various different projects and i want everyone to definitely show them some love and support but yeah this is going to be a lot of fun i've been this is, uh, if we're basically doing, I used to do this all when I was at caricature booths and stands where we just kind of all sit around because we'd be standing around bored out of our mind sometimes when it was slow. And so we just play these artist games where like we challenge each other or, uh, it'd be something like, oh, Hey, you know, draw this version of this, or, uh, just, we just start making one drawing at a time on a piece of paper. And then eventually by the end of the day, we had this whole thing filled up with doodles and sketches and so many just fun ideas and, and stupidity and stuff. And it's, it was so much fun. Um, so looking, looking to do that with some other artist friends coming up next week. So keep an eye out for that. If you want to keep abreast that, please check out my Instagram. Um, Instagram, Bill underscore Drastel, D-R-A-S-T-A-L, because I will be posting... Uh, details on that and all that jazz so yeah keep an eye out because that's gonna be a lot of fun all right let's get in this uh let's get this guy's like stuff he's holding on this side now I'm, I'm trying to not I'm trying to there there's there's a stroller behind him so I don't want to get confused with what that going on there but looks like he's got let's do let's do each item as as we see it so we've got looks like I don't know, some sort of food item. Because he's got, like, a tray. So let's get his, uh... Let's get his hand in here.
It's like a it looks like a hot dog tray or something. Like the, the there's definitely yeah he's at he, he we're at a we're at like a county fair. This feels like a like a hot dog. In fact, let's see if we can put the hot dog in here. Put like I'm totally channeling myself as a teenager now. Just a mess of stuff. All on this hot dog. We're talking ketchup and mustard and onions and relish and maybe extra stuff that I don't even know about. And then let's see here. What else we have? There is a drink that he has like tucked. We've all done this. We've all done this. You've got like a, an order of food. You're at a fair. <laughs> and you're just tucking that drink under your arm. Because you've got just too much good food. Can't put any of it down. Can't risk anyone coming along. And stealing your food. <laughs> I'm gonna put some some food coming out of his out of his mouth right there. It <laughs> showed that he took a bite out of his corn dog. There we go. <laughs> the old sticky forearm grip, exactly. Too much star stuff. You are on it. You are on it. I have not been paying attention. I hope there's no no chat going on on YouTube. Any chat going on? Doesn't look like it. All right, no worries. There we go. So we got the drink. In fact, let's uh, let's put his a little bit of a sleeve. Going over that drink, just so it looks like it's actually held in place by his jacket. I think that was the detail that I was missing. We'll put a little bit of like some of that Dixie cup kind of design graphics going on there. All right, so now this is his arm on top of it. So I'm gonna merge these, but I'm gonna erase everything that would be under this arm. I'm glad I drew everything that was underneath it, but now I don't need it. So let's erase it. And then merge. And there we go. We got our teenager. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This guy, this guy came out really good. I'm really happy with this. Let's add a little just a bit more details. Maybe a little bit of texture on some of this coat here. There's a fix this tangent. Get rid of that. And then put some uh, more folds under there. And your belt buckle just going through and adding a little bit extra details help flesh it out and there we go all right let's see who's next characters it looks great thank you so much yeah I, I i really like how this came out i've been i'm excited Yeah, like I said, doing I, I love doing this stuff. This has been like uh it's it's such a fun thing to do. It's a great way to ooh, just kinda like rat uh just calm down for the day. I already feel like I'm loosening up, I'm feeling more confident in myself. And it's just getting back into it. I'm getting back into my groove and it's 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 a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Alright, let's get a new let's hide these guys, let's get a new layer. Let's see here. Who's next? Who's next? You know, I haven't drawn 
We haven't drawn a lot of women so far. Let's draw. Let's draw her. Let's draw her. Let's draw her in here. So obviously, the big thing I'm seeing right now that's standing out to me are the earrings. But earrings aren't aren't a feature of the face, but they've got such fun stuff written uh, written on them. So um, they're definitely gonna be a major. Uh, they're definitely gonna be a ma a major part of this. But I'm looking at it. I'm just gonna kind of like kind of go with what's going on here. There we go. all quiet because i'm deep in thought doing detailed hair like this that's got texture and shape is always a tough thing to do a lot of times it's just kind of getting the shape in there and then figuring it out from there like I've got there we go and usually I like to draw the nose first because that gives me a nice again nice anchor point But I'm alright now. I'm not liking what I'm doing here. Luckily, I can undo. But I feel like I feel like there's. I feel like I'm falling into some old traps I used to fall into, and I'm not. I'm kind of drawing what is easy to draw. I'm not actually drawing what's there. But so far, I'm also, I think I can salvage this. I don't think it's it's not too bad. I get the get there we go that's that's already feeling better I think this might be one where I definitely want to let me draw it again. Because I feel like I did a good job, but I feel like I could do slightly better. I don't feel I'm getting the likeness here. It's feeling a little bit better. Yeah, I've got the eyelids 
a little bit more like this. Yep, definitely learning that having a sketch underneath might be the way to go for me when I get back to doing these live. It's a hard habit to break just kind of diving in with the pen because that was what I was, that was the way I was taught when I originally did these a long time ago, back when I was a little artist. <laughs> if I could ever have been a little artist, but that's what I would do. I would, I would, I would go in with a pen and, you know, the mantra was almost kind of like, you know, don't do the under sketch. It was like a badge of honor. But nowadays, honestly, I'm seeing, I know a lot of other artists out there that are doing some amazing work and they're not holding themselves to that sort of limiting, they're not doing that sort of limiting thing to themselves where they're, where they're just limiting themselves for just the sake of, I don't know, being the coolest or something like that. What does it say on the earring? Black girls rock. Oh, awesome. <laughs> upside down too that's or it's backwards so let's I love it I'm gonna totally butcher this these earrings but they're the coolest earrings <laughs> Doing all right, height an S would be <laughs> not that, that's not an S. <laughs> Black girls rock. There we go. There we go. I think I think I definitely got this. Got this looking better. Looking to a point where this is feeling it feels more like her. Where before I had it and it it just wasn't quite like the shapes were there. But it just wasn't quite light. Like, all the pieces weren't adding up to being this woman. But I think... I think I've gotten it. Feels a lot more accurate. And sometimes it happens. Like, I used to think that there was just like, Oh, I'm drawing this type of person's face, or this type of person's face, and oh, boy, I have this... It's this one of these shapes. Honestly, like, each person has a different... A different essence to them a different you know way that they look and different personality that comes through and that's what i think is what what gets difficult for me is is trying to find what that is and that's where i think i find that difficulty because i want i don't want to just get a drawing anymore of the person that looks vague like me. i want the i want their personal essence to come through i want them it to feel like them so that's kind of been my my new stand of uh my new level of, of quality that i'm trying to shoot <laughs> freehanding backwards letters is pretty pretty impressive thank you i thought it was too thank you so much we used to draw we'd uh what we'd have is we'd have our easel and when i was at sea world they didn't like us sitting down so here would be our easel like this and you know we couldn't really sit down like a lot of times we wanted to sit down and draw but we couldn't so when we played our art games like we'd be kind of sitting at, at it like this you know kind of drawing it upside down
like so. So <laughs> sometimes we do this to make uh, make posters or signs or just saying like, hey, if you come get a caricature sketch for me, I'll do a free black. I'll draw you black and in the black and white for free or something like that. So I think that's where I learned how to make. <laughs> things backwards and upside down because you couldn't you had to write it backwards so that it would show up facing the right way <laughs> there we go Character, thank you. I think it's character that he can cut our legs. Yeah, I think I did a good job. I think I got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I, I, I. There were moments where I thought like, oh, maybe I should redo it. And honestly, sometimes that's okay to do. But I, I'm glad I stuck with it. And I think I really, I really got. I really nailed her likeness here, and really got it to the point where I really like it. So, I think the next thing I want to practice. Because when I get, because I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm doing live caricatures again um, at some conventions coming up. And I want to get back into the habit and learn and back into details. And so far, I think I got the drawing down right. I think I got the drawing. Um, I have the drawing skills down. I have the confidence again to do this, especially live in front of people. But I, I there's still some, there's still some things I know I'm shaking on. So I want to practice them. And one of those things I'm shaking on is also airbrushing. Um, cause the, the artists that I'm going to be going, uh, these conventions with use airbrushes for doing their colors. So try and remember exactly how we use airbrushes, but for the most part, once we've done the, uh, once we've done the sketch, excuse me, we would go in and we'd have like five colors that we would use. We'd have like, uh, we'd have like a an orange an orangey pinkish color that'd be for that'd be for light complexion we'd have a ochre yellowish color um that would kind of be like a base for when you have people with darker more olive and just darker skin you'd have brown you'd have black you'd have red you'd have blue and then you can make different colors too so if you want to add like purple to something you can mix red and blue together and they'd all be in little vials of they'd all be little vials of paint and we would mix and match them to make different colors. Um, we didn't have any white. If you wanted to make white, you'd have to put f fresh water in your airbrush and then you would blast a part of the, of the, of the paper with, with the water and it would kind of blast the, the paint away and it would leave the paper exposed. And that would be your white. So you'd paint everything. Like if I wanted, like if I paint everything and wanted to go back in and do like her, her, like the whites of her eyes or something, I have to go back in with water and blast away the, the paint and that would create white um so there's all these techniques and when i get there i'm gonna have to really do some warm-up practice with the airbrush it's been a while since the airbrush but the technique i remember and luckily they have a nice little airbrush here in uh and i've got two airbrushes so i've got a big i've got a nice big one here and then i've got a littler one here so they have some airbrush tools so let's see if i can do some airbrush now if i remember correctly they had we had like a yellow ochre color which would be like this now this is what for doing dark skin we would go in and we would do little like you would kind of set like a a layer some areas of that yellow ochre color because that would be the highlights kind of coming through like if you look at her skin there is like like where it's lighter where we have lighter shapes going on it's it's not quite a white color that's coming through it's a it's a yellower well not quite yellow color but it's 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 an off white and so to create that we would go in with our with our airbrush and we kind of just airbrush certain areas where we want that color to come through so it'd be areas like on her chin on her nose you know, areas, I'm basically kind of showcasing all the areas that's going to be where the light is hidden. You know, maybe some areas of her skin. Sometimes you'd go in with a with an airbrush and do some areas where you wanted it darker. Just to get those shadows kind of in there quickly. 
So I might do some areas like under her eye here. And that's already enough. Like again, I'm trying I'm trying to simulate an airbrush here on the on digitally. So let me let me so let me start over here. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna practice this technique, but I'm gonna do it on a layer underneath. Because also, um even though we're drawing, we would draw these on one sheet of paper, the airbrush had a really good way of kind of multiplying the colors on it. Now, when I'm doing it on here on the uh, on the computer, it's just painting on top of it. It's not really looking right. When you're on a piece of paper, if you did this in marker, that marker really does come through very well. So I want to I want to mimic that. So I'm going to do it on a layer underneath. So here we go. So we got I kind of follow a pattern of sh of areas on the person's face so i do like under the eyes under the nose and these are all my really like hard shadow areas chin under the lip the ear back there on the neck and i'm just kind of going through and addressing all these areas with a small size brush and just kind of getting the the lines in there because I'm, I'm just breaking down where i want the shadows and what the effect i want then i would use a bigger airbrush pen and kind of soften those areas out with color notice i'm still like i'm i'm kind of i'm leaving some areas white because i still want that highlight to come through but then for the color areas kind of going through and just kind of doing I got shapes here. So I've got like a ball for the chin, ball for the cheeks. The head itself is a cylinder. So I'm just shading it. I'm, I'm treating the areas of the face like a shape like that. And now I've got to it. So I've laid down kind of a base coat here for the skin color. And then I'd go through and I'd use a brown color, which in this case, brown is just a dark orange. And so I go through and do the same thing. I would do use a nice wide brush to kind of get those areas. And with, when you're working with airbrush, you really got to work on doing it in like you're working in almost like strokes like you're doing you're you're holding the airbrush you're kind of just doing like zap 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 and that's how you're doing like the shadow the shade areas and all those things it's an interesting technique i i highly recommend anyone that's interested to play around like if you have an op op ability to play around with the airbrush it can teach you a lot about how color is applied how to do lighting I learned a lot about shad shading and lighting from, from doing caricatures like this because I had to really think about that when I was applying them. Now, is this the best version of coloring? No. Like I said, this is me coming back into doing this. But this sort of practice is, again, it's just getting my mind wrapped around these concepts again. Getting my brain thinking in this, this, in this way because when I normally do color on digital, I can't, I'm thinking differently. So I have to think about the steps I'm doing. All right, so now go through and do, do some more details. Hmm. 
All right, now I'm gonna do, I'm going with a darker color. So I try to work with my darker colors first. So I'm gonna go in now with like a darker kind of black color. I might even make, go in and do a pass. Let's do a pass with a darker brown color. So here's, here's the thing, you can kind of see it right now. When you apply black to skin tones, it's a touchy thing to do because it takes the color and it makes it look dead. So I, I want to avoid using straight black. Now I'm, I'm using a very dark brown, but I'm not really digging this brown. I think I need to add maybe a little bit of red to it. And I think when I was there, I might make a little bit of this color myself. This is coming out a little better. Like I wouldn't want to use straight black to do these harsh shadows on this on her face because it would take her skin tone and it would make it look dead it takes out for some it's, it's something to do with the black like it takes out the saturation even if you're not covering the whole thing in the color it just has that effect and i don't want i don't want that i want people to feel like they're alive and vibrant and full of life now if i'm drawing a zombie <laughs> That's different. So that's why for this part, I'm just going to use a dark brown. Now, if I'm going to go into her hair, I'm also going to use that dark brown. Because remember, black is harsh and it's going to do that. So I'm going to go into doing her hair. And I'm just going to do all the places in her hair that are dark. Now, if I look at her hair, her hair is black with like that light brown. So I will use black at one point. But right now, I'm just filling it in there with this brown to utilize that black as least amount of times as I have to. All right, so now that's looking good. Now I'll go in with the black color. Put the, put the lines on multiply. That'll help it a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to do her hair. And we would make for her hair, we would use an orange color or a red color. I think actually we're going to start out is we're going to start with a base of like that yellow ochre that I would have. I'm going to draw that in first. Because when you're thinking about when you're airbrushing, you want to think about your colors in reverse. You want to start with your lighter colors and then do your darker colors because the lighter colors will get covered up by the darker colors. They'll show through if you leave gaps for them, but if you don't, they're not gonna show up. The only color that does, that, that does the opposite of that is red, and I'll show you why in just a second. So then I go over with a red color and just go and do all the, the shadows for these shapes. A nice smaller. I'm gonna go in and add some some detail here try and get in because there's so much detail on her hair and I'll make sure it shows up so I want to make sure that this is saturation is coming in nice and good maybe I gotta turn it up in the thing uh, opacity here we go flow with heavy pressure there we go that's what I was missing All right, so now red. Let's talk about red. I'm 
red is a color that when I'm using them in airbrushing, it really, it actually adds on top of colors very well. So red is actually one of those rare ones where you usually use red right at the end. And I can go in and do a little bit of red on her, on her lips here. I can use a little bit of red on her cheeks. And then let's grab a yellow. And then let's, oops. Let's get, actually, you know, let's get this earring in here. Earrings are white, so let's use white actually. And then we can go in and use our white on different areas here and kind of bring out some more of these highlight areas, especially like up here on the hair. And there we go. That would be, that's, that's roughly how, <laughs> let's talk about red. We don't talk about red enough. That would be, that would be roughly around what a airbrush color ta uh, tattoo, airbrush colored uh, caricature would look like. And I, yeah, for, for doing these, I think I'd go in and clean up some of the stuff with some of the white, just to clean up a little bit. Cause airbrush can get messy. And so it's, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna bleed a little bit. So you can kind of go through and clean it up, but. I thought this really came out really well. You know, the sketch was rough and it's all digital. Like I probably would, you know, try to reshape this a little bit, but this would, this would probably be comparable to something I would give someone, sell someone that got a caricature done. And it's, I think, I think they like this. I think they have fun with it. All right. All right. Let's see here. How much time I got? I got half hour. Let's see what else. Let's do some more practice. This has been fun. This has been a ton of fun, everybody. I hope everyone else is enjoying this too. So I have been having a ton of fun. That's kind of cool. It's also really cool to see the, the airbrush color underneath the line work. Turn down the opacity. But turn down the opacity. So there's different tools I can use when I'm doing live caricature, especially with especially with uh with doing airbrush uh coloring um now there's black markers which uh i've used sharpie before um i know there's special marquette markers that are really favorable for characters i'm not quite sure actually the tools it's been a while since i've done live characters but i remember um my favorite my favorite go-to tools were sharpie markers and marquettes if they were available but when it came to doing airbrush tattoos I didn't like using the marker on them because they would have the effect you're seeing that like the digital ha digital lines are having. They don't blend in with the colors. So what I would use, what I will probably use when I go to these conventions, and I use a big um, pencil lead. Um, there are these big pencil lead holders that basically are just big pens. I still have a few, so I might just bring those with me on the trips with a big old push button. And then they have these little grips in the middle. And then when you press the button, there's a giant lead inside and it comes out. These, these pinch back and it releases the lead. And that's what you use for drawing. And inside the little, you can actually remove the little push part here and there's sharpener inside and you can sharpen your lead as you're on, the, as you're going. And I love the effect that this has because the pencil lead 
usually you want to use a nice soft lead like a 6b or a 3b something like that and the pencil lead does a fantastic job of blending in with the colors so much better than the markers ever did now some people really like using the markers because they have they're very accurate with their um they're very accurate with their airbrushing techniques some people use markers because they're using color sticks that's a whole different ball of wax um and so you want that nice thick you know that nice crisp black line but for for doing the colors on this and it's become so painterly and the colors kind of become more nebulous and vague especially with my airbrushing technique my airbrushing technique needs some work but the pencil lead, lead makes it look more like something like this or something like this as the pencil kind of blends in more with the colors than than being so harsh like like this is like if i turn this on normal this is what it would feel like um or let me say something a little bit more like this but i like it to blend in more it feels like a whole cohesive picture so i'll definitely be bringing these uh when i go to these convention trips so all right next person who's up next thank you ma'am let's see here who's next let's do some let's let's try to do some real quickie ones because doing some quick ones too is a good way to get in practice it helps you play with shapes and stuff let's get some quick ones in here Ooh, this is she is that wasn't the, that wasn't the picture i clicked on i wanted this one there we go this one oh she this is this is a fun fun picture indeed getting all the shapes in here There we go. Nice, nice quick one here. And again, I, I think I think there's there's more fun that I could have done here. I think I got a little too too silly here. But I, I this was this this one was fun. There's I think it was it was like just the juxtaposition, the different like perimeters and different things that that that, that this shape was going in. That just made this one, this this image really stood out for me. Yeah, I say definitely the mouth is giving me trouble here. There we go. <laughs> this one was fun. I want to I want to I want to try a different version of it. Cuz I feel like like in the version I did, there's more humor and I think the way cuz these are ovals, but when I look at this picture, I love her really like perfect circular glasses here and I don't feel like I captured that well with this like these feel like this big cartoony eyes like it's a fun it's a fun picture 
Like, don't get me wrong. I really like how this one came out, but I think I could, I think I could push it a little bit more. So let's do a, let's do some more practice with like an under sketch. Here is actually more up here again yeah it's it's i have all my landmarks i usually like to figure out where where the ear is where the jaw is where the chin is and everything is kind of like i'm kind of placing everything all over the place and i think that's what's throwing off my my sense of direction but that's that's the fun of drawing caricature is that like it's about throwing everything off and putting everything in places you wouldn't think to put it. There we go. That's feeling better. So let's turn the opacity down here. We'll resize this drawing a little bit. And let's draw it afresh here. Getting into the nitty gritty details here. Oh yeah, this is looking this is looking great. Actually there's not much Let 
and then erase these lines behind here one of these things i'll have to remember that is that when i draw these live i can't <laughs> i can't erase lines so i'll have to be a little bit more thoughtful when it comes to doing things like uh drawing these glasses before drawing her nose i should have drawn the nose first so then i could draw the glasses behind but that's all right There we go. Yeah, really like how these came. This one came out. I know I can't see her eyes in in the picture, but I imagine I would. And they're there. And I think it'd be fun to to take this and do like a. If I if I were to color it, I would then go in with the uh, with the airbrush, and take a little bit of red and uh do that nice fun red that she's got on her glasses because that's one of, that's one of the selling points i think for me and then we'll do like a, a darker red to do that shadow that's obscuring everything There we go. There we go. I think it was working really good. <laughs> Where is red? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'll tell you one better. Why is red? <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of good red going on here. So yeah, I love it. This I think this was a good this is a good exercise because it's 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 the same person. That, and this is always fun to do. And and, and when I was uh when I was a lead caricature artist at SeaWorld, um this would be one of the um lessons that i would that i would use to teach people how to draw caricatures is that we would do a you would do a caricature of someone like we'd have a face or they all the other students would be models and you draw a caricature of someone and then you do it again but you try to push it you push the you push the exaggeration so um or you just try something completely different and you try something new with the way you're pushing it and it's always just fun to look at things in a different way because you might see something you didn't see the first time in which case this case i really like it was it was all about like this this worked i mean this is this is this is kind of her didn't like the way i drew her nose and i really felt like i could have done more with this i don't know like kind of flattening out of her face and stretching it out that the hat is doing because it's the shape and then it's just kind of pushing everything out there and i i like that i dig that um and it was a lot of fun to draw. And then it was, there was extra little details like her eyes, um, doing the uh, doing the darkness that, that that's her glasses, kind of obscuring all the detail under there. Those are all fun details that I wasn't able to do with this one because I did the dark uh, highlights of the of the sunglasses with the sketch. So sometimes it's just all about it's again it's that playfulness. It's that you know having fun with it. 
what am I going to do? And I think that playfulness really helps going towards helping yourself feel confident in the work you're doing. Because when you're just playing around and you're just having fun in that sort of essence, there's no worry about what mistakes you're making. If you're just doing it and you're doing it and you're adjusting to what's happening along the way, that's all you need to do. You just got to be playful and have, and have fun with it. Um, I know for me, when I start getting worried about, is this good? Is this bad? So when I start to really like, yeah, I'll, I'll, my anxiety will flare up and I'll start to worry and I'm not working or drawing as good as I could, but when I'm just being playful and I'm just having confidence in myself, I can do a lot. I can do a lot of really cool stuff. Like I'm just playing with these colors. I'm going at this in a completely different approach than when I did the other color one and I'm already liking what's happening. Like I'm just kind of going through and finding my shadows I'm already liking what is showing up more than the last one. Not saying the last one is bad, but I've definitely grown some. I've figured some things out on this one. I got a better feel for the tools. I got a better feel for the colors. And yeah, just, just doing it over and over again it's that practice. Practice really helps make perfect. Yeah, completely different feeling, completely different feeling. looking fantastic well hey guys this has been so much fun oh my god what a fun friday this was um yeah i love this um thank you guys so much for joining me i've been having a blast um yeah definitely uh stay tuned for next week uh oh ad break hold on a second it looks like ad break just started so i'll give you guys the details of it let me do some more uh quick ones I'm waiting for the ad break to done but yeah, wrapping up, guys, this has been so much fun. Um, I'm definitely going to be streaming again next week. And yeah, I think this was great. I don't know how many viewers we got on YouTube, but if, you were joining, if you're joining me on YouTube and you catch this stream, thank you guys so much for coming in on that. Had a great time. Let's see here. I was all ready to do a big speech, and I was like, oh, no. My Twitch audience is that behind the ad break. I can't have that happen. I gotta say goodbye to you guys. I gotta, I gotta raid another channel. So many things to do. All right, here we go. 19 seconds ever. Let's save this file.
All right, everybody. Hey, looks like it looks like my Twitch uh, chat is back from the ad. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was a blast. I had so much fun doing these caricature practice and just drawing faces and having a great time. Just, just unwinding from a week. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let's go see who's available to raid. Let's see who's available to raid tonight. Anyone on right now that we can do this to? No one. No one's available to raid right now. So I'll just be saying goodbye. Guys, again, thank you so much for, for joining me on my stream today. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Don't forget, next week, Tuesday, we're doing a test stream. Me and other artists. We're playing fun artist games. Friday, the big day. Friday, 10 a.m., we're having our fun artist games event. So tune in. Uh, follow me on, on Instagram if you are. If you're not, uh, you'll get more information. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you again so much. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.